Ascended Dragon Collective, you are near the end game of this reality. Channel, Galaxy Girl. Greetings, humans reading this. We are the Ascended Dragon Collective, greeting you throughout time space, which is but a construct, a hologram. We too are players in this game of reality but we have access to the higher levels dimensions in which you are becoming well aware. You two are no longer beginner players. You are near the end game of this reality, in which the players expand enough that they can create the next game of their choosing. You are creator gods in body. Do not bristle at the term god, with a lower case g, for that is simply what you are. You have the god creator spark within you and you do not use the higher caste G in your language out of respect, but you are indeed creator gods, in form. Many have been trying to create the reality that they wish for you to see. Do not do this. Do not fall prey to their deceptions. If you wish to see more chaos there is plenty created for you to look. We say over and over again that the way of the master is the still flowing creek within, not the rushing waves without and about on your world. We dragons speak now with cunning, with intelligence. You have this. You are cunning and intelligent. You are shrewd and wise. Do not lose your grit when calamity seems to strike and others step in to tell you how to think, how to believe. No. You are your own master of your own game of reality. You are your own savior. So save yourself. Save your world. Save your beliefs from others thrust onto you and selectively carefully cultivate your own belief. You are in the stages of realizing who you are. It is delightful to see. They are showing me colorful bright dragon infants hatching out of neon colored shells, you are no longer this. You are this. They are showing me adult humans dressed in battle gear of old riding dragons. We were one in times gone by and in realities that coexist, we were and are one. Humanity has been fractured from its very spirit, from its very nature of who they were and are. You are mending the fracture with clear eyes of sight. You are flying high on the winds with the breeze lifting you up. There will be talks of calamity. Pay it no heed. There will be talks of disaster and directions of what to fear. Pay it no mind. Use your cunning, use your discernment and follow your grit of truth. No master is a slave unless he forgets his place. Humanity is no longer a slave to this system. The system is broken. Do you hear the battle cry? Do you see the rising up? Do you feel this storm of energy that says enough? We are sovereign. It is time we rise as one, this, these are the times you are in. No more slivering and slinking, no more groveling and obedience. Obedience. Blind obedience is what slaves do. You are no slave. You are masters, everyone. We bow to you. We are the Ascended Dragon Collective come today to remind you of who you are. You are the Ascending Human Collective, a strong force to contend with, to recon with and the Dark Ones know this. This is why they are always cooking up something next to distract you from your own true power. Do not fall for this. You are sovereign. We instruct our hatchlings from a young age to trust their inner spirit, to trust their inner knowing and guidance and to know their true selves. Humanity has not known their true selves. In a sense this was a key element to the game but this game is over when the Ascended Human Collective says that it is. And we suggest as your friends of the skies and the deep and of ages past and future friendships and alliances, the time is now. We are the Ascended Dragon Collective. Watch your full moon rising. It brings yet more codes. Watch us ride on the waves of the wind. We fly beside you, girding you onward. We are your friends of ages past return to the skies, the waters, the deep spaces. The underground places are being cleaned out by us cheerfully, moment by moment. Snack by snack we devour those who are not of the light. It is great fun for us, for it is our act of service. Find what brings you joy in these times and do it. Bring joy to your fellow humans. Bring laughter to your workplace. Bring hope to your aging parents and bewildered colleagues. Bring firelight to the dark places and light them up. No one will believe what you have been through. Deeply personal stories, everyone. 
You have all had many deep cave experiences with minimal light when all was thought to be lost. But you found your own inner light, your own inner ember of source, of love, for they are one in the same. We serve Source, the Great Mother of all things. We bow to her ever in service, always serving the light. We bring the light to the darkest of dark places. Where there is only inky black we bring firelight. We blaze our mighty fire and we burn away all that is not light. Many of you are with us on the other side. We see you, we remember you. Do you remember us? Does this message of friendship and greeting bring fondness? If so, embrace the codes and choose to remember. Choose to remember who you are, Dragon Riders, everyone. Our alliance is great, our friendship is greater. We are one. We are the Ascended Dragon Collective. You will be hearing more and more from us as these days grow short and long all at the same time as time crumbles apart like the rending of the wind. All is coming to pass. The great prophecies foretold it and we bear witness to the unveiling of Gaia's glory. We are the Ascended Dragon Collective. Know that the darkest of dark times are coming and that is when the light shines the most brightly and you are ready for it. It will not be as long as the last time. It will be much shorter and you are much stronger and you are ready. You are ready to lead. You are ready to shine. The spiral of time is changing and is close to being no more. Time exists differently in the higher dimensional realities, you know this. All is now, all is happening simultaneously and we see many glorious outcomes for this project and all will be sure-footed. We dragons fly high and yet we have very sure feet. We like our scaly feet. They are strong and capable. We see you humans in your small oddly shaped feet, we see you as very, very strong. We bear witness to you and your success on this journey. We bow to you in honor and friendship. We are with you. Peace.